everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today we're doing our third craft for the coronation of King Charles III. In an earlier video we made fabric crowns to wear while watching and celebrating. And we've also colored coronation party invitations. And today we're going to make coronation bunting. In the past, we've sewn the Queen's Corgi pillow and stenciled the crown pillow in honor of Her Majesty the late Queen Elizabeth II. The links to the videos with those crafts are in the description box of this video. And now let's celebrate King Charles III's coronation with a new craft. So let's get started. I found the idea for this craft in the book Paper Crafting in No Time by Claire Youngs. Fold, cut, and glue 50 of the most amazing decorative paper creations you have ever seen. Inspired by traditional folk art motifs from across the globe, this modern approach to traditional crafting techniques shows just how beautiful paper can be. All you need are a few simple tools, a craft knife, some glue, and a cutting mat and you'll soon be making stunning gifts, cards, decorations, and more. I bought this book from Value Village Thrift Stores for $2.99. This craft is called Geometric Bunting. Step one of the instructions said, trace the template and draw the central cross shape and the two inner triangles, one large and one small onto some drawing paper. Cut these out to use a template to draw around. I flipped to page 173 in the book, which had the template, but it needed to be enlarged by 200%. I wanted my bunting flags to be bigger, so I downloaded and printed an image of the Union Jack from Pixabay. This image was much larger, almost eight and a half by 11 inches. In order to be able to trace my Union Jack, I glued it to a scrap piece of cardboard and then cut it out. When I cut out my template, I made sure not to cut into any of the colored pieces. I also joined the gray X to the cross to make it easier to trace. I was careful not to cut into any of the gray triangles because they were used for this craft as well. It was only the white parts of the Union Jack that were discarded. Next, I checked to make sure I had all the pieces for my template. You can use scrap paper, wrapping paper, color comics, postcards, or maps, but I chose pages from Britain Magazine. I bought these magazines for 25 cents each at the Friends of the London Library book sale. These issues of Britain Magazine are from 2011, 2014, and 2017, but they're perfect for this craft. I pulled out seven full page color photographs from the magazine and traced my template onto the pages. You can choose as many images as you would like, but I determined that seven flags would look great for my bunting. When I traced my Union Jack, I used a blue pen. I tried a pencil, but I found that the pen left a more visible line for me to follow. I just couldn't see the pencil lines on the darker photographs. I took my time tracing the outline because I didn't want to get blue pencil onto an area of the magazine page 
that would be used for the triangle stencils. Once I traced the cross, I moved on to the eight triangles. Step two of the instruction said, cut out an oblong of white drawing cartridge paper measuring five and a quarter by six and a quarter inches or 13 by 15.5 centimeters for each flag. Then draw around the cross template onto a piece of the printed paper. I didn't use white drawing cartridge paper for this project. I chose something more colorful for the bunting. The brighter the better for the coronation. On the Government of the United Kingdom's Coronation website, there is a great page called the Coronation Toolkit. I'll post a link to this website in the description box below this video. On this page are a range of useful templates and materials to help you with your coronation celebrations, including homemade bunting ideas, recipe cards, and kids' activity sheets. There are even three bunting templates. One with the coronation emblem in English, another one in Welsh, and a design your own bunting template. Then I cut out my cross section and triangles. Step three of the instruction said, Cut out the shape using a metal ruler and a scalpel or craft knife. If you are using the same paper for the triangle sections, try to keep the shape intact so that if there's an all over design, you can cut the triangles from the correct area. I used my paper scissors rather than a knife because I was concerned that I would rip the picture with my knife or cut too far into the image. The scissors were the safest route for me. Step five of the instruction said, cut out the triangles from the correct segment of printed paper. The easier way to do this is to hold the template against the paper and cut around it. If you prefer, you can vary the colors by cutting the cross from one color and the triangles from another. I found it easiest to trace my triangles first and then cut them out. The Coronation Toolkit page on the Coronation website has some yummy recipes. I think that Adam Handling's Strawberry and Ginger Trifle sounds delicious. There's also a link to the Coronation Celebration playlist on Spotify. Step four of the instruction said, stick the cross section down onto the white paper, lining up the bottom of the flag with the bottom of the paper. Instead of white paper, I used colored construction paper. I bought the construction paper at Dollarama for $4. I used two blue pages, two green, 
one orange, one yellow, and one off-white to complement the color images of England that I cut out. Next I applied glue to the back of the cross section and stuck it down to the construction paper, matching the bottom of the flag with the bottom of the construction paper. Then I added the triangles. On the Coronation Toolkit page website, there are some great coloring pages, but my favorite is the color in the crown. It's a picture of St. Edward's crown, or the Coronation crown, in front of a Union Jack blowing in the wind. There's also color in the crown and color in the emblem greeting cards. They say, you're invited. I think I might print one or two of these off, color them in, and mail them to my mom. Then I cut off the excess construction paper along the side of the flag, but not the top. I folded over the construction paper along the top of the flag, creating a flap. This was taped down over the string that will hang the bunting. Step 7 of the instruction said, Glue along the flap and fold over the length of string. Make several flags in the same way and space them out evenly along the string to make the bunting length required. I used thick white thread that I bought at Value Village Thrift Store. It was included in a big bag of old thread on wooden spools that I bought for $1.99. I taped down each of the flaps on all seven flags over the string, making a pattern with the flag colors. Here is the finished bunting. enjoyed making coronation bunting with me. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns, and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric, online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell to receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.